What's up, everybody? This is Zach with the Nerd Cape Podcast, and today I'm joined along with two of the best looking guys in video games, nerd culture, and pop culture. I have to my left Robbie Rolls, and to my right Derek Diamond, the Diamond Cutter. Okay, <laughs> bang. So he's back, maybe from outer space, hopefully. The aristocratic sad look upon your bandicoot. Face. I, I really want to believe all of this. I, your key. I do too. I for just one second. Anyway. So. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> there is a rumor. <laughs> well, multiple rumors. Suck it. That a certain bandicoot from down under is making his long-awaited return yeah. come from the land down under. to the video game world, and I am going to strike you so hard when this podcast is over. Oh, you can take the big <laughs> mic stand and just cleave him in two. Just blunt force trauma, and we'll get it all on camera. Okay. But about Crash, carry on. So it's been teased for a while. Oh, yeah, oh it's my been God. Teased. So much, that but it's recently, not even, not even funny. It's not even funny. <laughs> it's not even a joke. Like, yeah, it, it's ridiculous. Totes for reals. But anyway, a toy developer from NECA or NECA, if you want to use the acronym, says that Sony is going to bring back Crash Bandicoot, and this happened during the New York Toy Fair. I still, I will, I will believe it whenever I see it released. Yeah, it's same here with me because when you there, it's been forever since a Bandicoot game has been made, and ones that I would classify as yeah. Because to me, when Naughty Dog stopped making the Crash Bandicoot games, they weren't nearly as good. Because I think I played uh, it was Twin Sanity, and it was awful. <laughs> yeah, I never but you played that. You know, you had the ones on the original PlayStation. You had the first three, and then you had Crash Team Racing, and then I think they did one for PlayStation Two. I don't want. To, I don't know if it was done by Naughty Dog, but it was still made in that same style as yeah. the original ones, and it was still pretty good. But then I guess they tried different things, and it just didn't work. Yeah. I, I'm hoping we know we all know that Naughty Dog is not going back yeah. you know, and making Crash Bandicoot games. It would be ridiculous for a studio that is geared towards a third person narrative type game like your, you know, Last of Us or your Uncharted games to go back and do that. So I would say someone that is more apt for platformers. I would love to see, you know, other than a Shovel Knight 2, I would love to see that studio make a Crash game. That actually leads into what I wanted to ask both of you guys. It's kind of a two-part question. Do you believe that there is going to be a new Crash game? And if so, how would you do it? Would you make it just like the old ones? Would you still try something new? What, what would you do? Like, I never played it as much as you guys have. I have played it. Um, and I loved the gameplay of it. I could, you know, tinker around and spruce it up a little bit, but pretty much do what, like, we love Crash Bandicoot because it's yeah. Crash Bandicoot. So yeah. why perfect it but release it the way it was? That's what I want. I want to relive that nostalgia, that, that what I what I relived, what I lived as a child. I want that. Yeah, Um is it going to happen? I'm not sure. Um, Hopefully. I want it to, but I'm really on the fence because it's been something that's just been teased so much that I love PlayStation, but I don't trust them with this yeah. with this IP. Um, now, what I would love to see is when you, Nintendo, what is that studio that remakes a lot of their games? Um, like tropical, whatever. Like it was a Donkey Kong game they did. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'll remember it as soon as we stop recording. Yeah. So. Bandai. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a, it's a, interesting. I can't remember the name of it. Mantic. No, it's none, of, none of those. <laughs> it was Blizzard. Um, <laughs> they, they did. They kind of took one of the older Donkey Kongs. They do several of these. Um. 
I would like to see it better graphics, you know. Yeah. But I want it to be, and Crash is not a side scroller. Um, I want it to be like that, but have a better feel to it. If you go back and play Crash One, it feels like a bunch of garbage to be yeah. completely honest. And like a lot of it has to do with like what we played with on uh, Kotor. It's the camera. How do you move the camera? Yeah. Because we've gotten to this day and age, a lot better with the camera motions. So uh, I would say put, you know, the modern style of moving the camera around into the Crash Bandicoot game. One other thing I would do if this happens, it will probably be announced at E3. Mm -hmm. I would also put that day, the day of E3 when they make the announcement, put all the old Crash games and Crash Team Racing on the PlayStation Store. Oh, yeah. I think you have to. sure. For sure. Uh, I want to play Crash Team Racing because when you get down to it, Crash Team Racing was better than Mario Kart back then. I disagree, but it was because I was a PlayStation guy. So if you want to see us, you can come see us this weekend at Pensacon. Yep. Pensacon. Uh, Pensacola, Florida. Yep, Pensacola, Florida at the Bay Center. Center. Yeah, yep. the Bay Center. Bay this weekend, Bay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 19th through the 21st. 21st. Yep. Come out and be a nerd. Say hello. We have a panel Friday at 415. Mm-hmm. Yep. So about c- podcasting, so enjoy that. Come out and support us and, you know, just be there. Enjoy the convention. Be there or be what? Square. Word. Be there or be dead. But. Something like that. Thanks for watching. And listening. Listening and whichever all that version. good stuff. Whatever you, I know we had the part, but. Uh, yeah. We can yeah. go get that rolling out. Yeah. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, facebook.com slash group slash Nerd Cave Network. Make sure you check out the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. All of our content going out every week. Make sure you check out the Derek Diamond Experience on Thursdays. Mm-hmm. And uh, this week, uh, we'll be chatting with an upcoming Pensacon guest. Nice. I'll be interviewing uh, Claudia Wells, who played Jennifer Parker in the original Back to the Future. Nice. Mm. I hated that they replaced her. You get to find out why in the interview. Nice. Ah, That'll yep. be interesting. Yep. And then on Saturdays, we have the Pop Culture Palette. Guys, PCP. Thanks, thanks for watching. This has been Zach, Derek, and Robbie. Have a week.